I think the current climate for donations um, for the restoration of the pier is very good, very positive. Um, we have obviously completed phase one, the first three bays, and people around visit a lot and they see that the quality of the construction is very professional. Um, all the sign off from the surveyors has been positive without defect and they can see we can actually achieve the objective of rebuilding the pier. Um, there's tangible evidence of progress. We're seeing donations in a number of uh, different ways from, from legacy donations, uh, from sponsorship, from companies uh, who sponsor uh, the seal predominantly. A lot of individuals in the community have sponsored all the planking. You can see the, the plaques around the pier as evidence of that indi individual contribution. I think people see this as a community project, probably the biggest community project on the island at the moment. If we take one bay, one 40-foot bay with the three girders, we're looking at about £52,000 for the steel, and that includes the, um, the purchase of the steel, the manufacture of the girders, the galvanising of the girders and the epoxy painting of the girders, plus the transportation from, from Scotland to, to the Isle of Man. Um, and then when we look at the timber on top of that, uh, in total we're looking at another approximately um, 20,000 or so. Um, in addition to that we have the consumables that we use, we have the railings, the, the railways um, at a cost of about £500 per rail, um, there's two required for each bay. So approximately at the moment we're talking about a total cost of £75,000 per bay. Well, the long-term objective, of course, is for the pier to be accessible to the public um, all year round and um, all day, uh, as they deem fit to use it. Fishing activities, social events, weddings, there's a whole host of um, opportunities. Uh, we intend to have a landing um, section on the end of the pier for visiting yachts, uh, maybe small um, cruisers, the, you know, the explorer-type vessels which have um, limited draft and can actually moor against the pier. The whole railway will be reinstated so we can have um, the use of the entire 2,000 feet for little railway excursions and possibly a cafe at the end during summer months. There's a whole myriad of opportunities to use. Hi, uh, my name's Steve. Um, I'm a volunteer. I'm uh, Les. I've been a volunteer on the Queen's Pier for over a year now. I do most jobs. Most of the heavy jobs anyway, because I'm the youngest. So. Hello, I'm John Quayle. I've been volunteering here for about just on a year now. My name's Alan, Alan Bagley. I'm uh, one of the frequent volunteers out here on the pier. Oh yes, I'm, uh, I'm Dennis Kirby. I'm the project manager here at uh, Queen's Pier Restoration Trust. I'm Graham Kirby. I'm a trustee and treasurer for Queen's Pier Restoration Trust. Uh, and I, I, I would just like to say a, a big thank you to all the community for their support and their continued uh, support to us uh, as it's the only way that we can continue to restore the pier is by your support.